can NIT test be wrong for gender? If you're expecting a baby and wondering about the accuracy of the NIT test in determining the gender, you're in the right place. Let's break down the details to give you a clear understanding. The NIT, or non-invasive prenatal testing, is a blood test that analyzes fetal DNA fragments present in the mother's blood. This test is highly accurate for several reasons. First, it can detect the presence or absence of the Y chromosome, which determines the baby's gender. If the Y chromosome is detected, it's a boy. If not, it's a girl. The accuracy of NIPT for gender determination is very high. Studies show that the test is about 98 to 99.9% .9 accurate. This means that out of 100 tests, only about one might give an incorrect result. However, this small chance of error is mostly due to factors like the timing of the test, and the amount of fetal DNA present in the mother's blood. For instance, if the test is conducted too early in the pregnancy, before week 10, there might not be enough fetal DNA in the mother's bloodstream to get an accurate reading. But when the test is done after week 10, the accuracy significantly increases. Another factor to consider is the presence of multiple pregnancies. In the case of twins, NIPT can determine if both babies are girls if only X chromosomes are present, but it cannot distinguish between one boy and one girl if a Y chromosome is detected. While the test is extremely reliable, it's not foolproof. There is a 0.1% chance that the determined gender could be incorrect. This could be due to rare issues such as malformation of the external genitalia or other genetic anomalies. In summary, the NFT test is a highly accurate method for determining the baby's gender with an accuracy rate of 98 to 99 percent. However, it is essential to understand that there is a small chance of error, especially if the test is conducted too early in the pregnancy. By knowing these details, you can make an informed decision about when and how to use the NAPT test.